Okay, so this is our uh, next generation navigation system that's launching in the 2009 Ford Flex, the new F-150 that's being announced at the Detroit Auto Show next week, and the Lincoln MKS. So with our next generation nav system, it's a um, eight inch uh, high resolution touchscreen display, mercury free, uh, 40 gigabyte hard drive, um, that's used to store all the map information and we've increased our data capacity because we do have a hard drive now. Um, also with the hard drive, coming along for the ride is a 10 gigabyte jukebox so you can rip CDs to the hard drive. That's from my partners at Gracenote. They're, they're the booth right next to us. So um, with Gracenote, we're announcing uh, album art for the first time. So when I insert a CD like Sade, I can see the album cover for Sade. The same voice recognition technology that's in sync is in the navigation system. So I can say play artist Sade from the jukebox just like I can from Sync. So uh, now where Sirius comes into play, Sirius has a long relationship with Ford and providing coast to coast audio coverage. With Travelink, uh, we had a data pipeline already into the vehicle. So Sync was about connecting people to their portable media players, to their Bluetooth phones. Travelink is about connecting people to information. So uh, with Travelink, we're getting real time traffic information, uh, flow and incident data. If there's an incident along your route, you'll do an automatic recalculation. I know there's an accident. If I have a route active, the user has the option to press avoid to automatically detour around that accident. So but I make the choice whether to avoid that accident absolutely. or go in there. So if, if there's an incident along your route, a pop-up notification sounds like a car horn honks at you and say, to draw your attention to the screen. Uh, when the user's ready, they're able to select the incident and then the user makes the decision if they want to detour around it or not. So uh, with weather, these are current conditions for, for Los Angeles. You can choose from a variety of places. Current conditions, five-day forecast. Looks like tomorrow's going to be cloudy. And ski information. Every navigation system has gas stations, but with Travelink now we have gas prices associated with that navigation system. ExxonMobil is 324 per set its desk, and it will calculate my route there. Same with movie theaters. Every nav system has movie theaters, but now with Travelink, we get the show times associated with that movie theater. And then we have sports scores, so real-time sports information. So. so I'm sorry, for the movies, I could actually name the movie, and it would tell me where it's playing, and how far away that is, and what time. Right, so uh, the movie theaters is a prime example of how we've integrated all these different technologies with voice recognition, um, sync, and Travelink and navigation. So. The navigation system tells me that there's a, where the movie theaters are and gives me turn-by-turn -turn guidance with text-to-speech for the spoken world names like we've always done. With Sync, I have the phone number with that movie theater in the POI database from navigation. I can press the dial button and call the movie theater and make uh, reservations or purchase your tickets. Traveling gives me the show times for that movie for that movie theater. Now with voice recognition, I'll say we use that as a as a shortcut instead of going through the through the touch screen. We can say uh, Travelink movie times, and it'll automatically jump through the screen to show them the movie times. So that's how we've kind of integrated everything together. That that's just a prime example.